And welcome to a game that really should have pulses racing. Every reason to believe this will be enthralling. I'm Derek Ray, and my commentary partner here on the gantry is the former Arsenal and West Ham player Stuart Robson. And we can't wait for this one to start with justifiable cause. It's Hungary against Morocco. Yes, thanks as always, Derek. We've got two good teams here, so I'm anticipating a really good game. The atmosphere is electric inside the stadium before kickoff, and hopefully we're not disappointed. And here's the 11 for Hungary. Well, they're playing with a 5-2-3, as we can see it here. But I think at times we'll see one of the centre-backs stepping forward into midfield just to make sure they don't get outnumbered in that central area. And here's how Morocco will line up. Yassine Bounou is the goalkeeper. Nusair Mazraoui plays with Ashraf Hakimi in the fullback positions. Hakim Ziyech plays with Sofian Boufal in the wide positions. And rather than use a strike partnership, they've gone with just the one player in attack. And so the battle commences. He's using his strength to good effect. Adam Nudge. Oh, it might be. Brilliantly blocked. Well, you can probably see why we're focusing on this fellow as one to watch. Stewart, in particular. Oh, Derek, can he finish this? A goal in the early stages, precisely what they had been planning. Well, here it is again, and it's all about the pace in transition. They're so quick to get out from the back, and then through on goal, he just goes for power and smashes it past the keeper. There's no stopping that. What a great finish. So the ball rolling again with the score line standing at 1 0. Amala. It's with Hakim Ziyech. And slipped through beautifully. Hakimi. Can he find the net? Superb block. Ziyech, well the danger is still there. Under real pressure defensively, will they pay the price? Adam Nudge. Good movement. And let's give credit to the defending. He's got the right idea with that pass. Amala. Well, that takes the wind out of their sails. Great defending.
can he finish? And there it is. But hang on, the flag has gone up and it's not going to count. Well, it was a close call, but he is just offside. Good finish, mind you. Substitution then, let's see how it affects the match. Very quick thinking there. And the counter looks on here, options available. Being egged on by the crowd. Nicely timed tackle. Teammates available. It should be! Not out of the woods yet! And the keeper hangs on at the second attempt. Well, he's done really well, hasn't he? Great stop, and then the reaction. Varga. Well, they want that equaliser, but the passing remains smooth. Well, visionary passing. Well, the only way to say it is he got it all horribly wrong, Stuart. Well, he has to make the keeper work harder than that. That's a tame finish. Of course, stats don't always tell the story, but on this occasion, they certainly do, because they haven't been good enough in the top third of the pitch. And I'm not sure we're going to see... Flinging himself at it, the keeper. Well, the crowd are doing their bit. Can they find the equaliser here? And he's fired over the corner. Relatively straightforward to mop up defensively. And still looking to get the shot away. That's really good and effective physical play. Now he must favour the cross. And an effective clearance. Now well, the managers will now deliver their half-time team talks. We're at the end of 45 minutes in this game. I think most fans would be pretty happy with this man's display so far. Well, I thought he had a really effective first half. Not only did he get the goal that gave them the lead, but his general play was really good. He was a constant threat, and I'm sure we'll see more of him in the second half. Well, they've got things going again here, and I wonder what kind of second half we have in store for us. Useful looking position, you've got to say. Ziyech. And given away. Buffal. Will he play it in? Taking care of business defensively here. Just the challenge that was required. Space on the flank. Superb block. And foul it is then.
Unahi. Going well. Azadine Unahi. And with that, the attack fizzles out. This might be ideal for the counter. It needs an accurate cross. Good tackle, it'll be a throw. Adam Lang. Well, he keeps going. This could square the game. Oh, can you believe what we've just seen? I think we're going to be viewing that goal time and time again. Well, here it is again, and all you can do is admire the skill. That's a really clever goal, you have to say. So underway again here on the back of that leveller. Unahi. This attack looks highly promising. Could play it in. And a throw in forthcoming. So deciding to make a personnel change at this juncture. Hakimi. Shot attempted. Well, how close was that? Inches away. Adam Nudge. And he was in the right place to intercept. Fifteen minutes left for play. Amala. On the offensive. Ziyech. And it crossed the touchline, so a throw in here. Well, they've decided to make a change. Splendid tackle and a throw in coming up. Well, possibilities inside the box. And they'll get ready for the throw in. It's there for him. A wonderful save to keep it level. That's a wonderful save. He was so alert there. And with play stopped, they will make the change now. Can someone get on the end of this? Well, no real accuracy and easy for the keeper. Five minutes of the 90, still to go. Um, well, a really important piece of goalkeeping at this stage. Well, it's such a key moment in the game. That's a really good save. Who's going to get on the end of it? 
it might still be problematic intercepting it intelligently well the visitors have had most of the ball in the last 15 minutes but if there is to be a winner in this you sense it starts to become a matter of now or never not going to get too many more chances now yes it might be on for them once more well, the electronic board lets the fans know three minutes of stoppage time could be and a goal this is why we adore this game late drama now they're in front Well, just look at his strength here. He holds off the challenge, he keeps his balance, and he finds the back of the net. It's a wonderful goal. Well, 2 1 it is here. And there goes the final whistle, much to the disappointment of their supporters. Well, Derek, certainly not their best performance, was it? Just a little bit off the pace for me, and obviously a disappointing result. But the key thing is they bounce back now and they can't afford a repeat performance. Well, he often cuts the figure of a thinking person's footballer, and Stuart, he's thought his way throughout this match. Well, if anyone deserved to be the match winner, it was him. He played really well today. A big goal that was.